Okay guys, so we actually just come back from Walmart and Lowe's and we got some stuff, got a laundry basket, got some paper towels, got some pretty curtains that I'll show you guys. Um, got a Swiffer, I think we got that last time, got a garbage can, some more paper towels, uh, some water, so I will unbag some of this and show you guys. We actually got some curtains at Lowe's that are pretty nice. Um, I don't know if you can see the pattern through there, it's just really simple. So we like those. You want to show us the other curtains off? Mm-hmm. These are probably my favorite. Um, got two sets of these. We've got two sets. Can you see through the back a little more? Mm-hmm. There you Maybe. go. Maybe. Um, it's just a really pretty print. You can turn it on its side again if you want. Um, again, it's just kind of simple, but it's nice. Do you want better? Yeah, there you go. Oh, yeah. I just think those are so pretty. Be nice and simple. And we got toilet brushes. We got, I don't know if these are paper towels or toilet paper. It looks like toilet paper. We also got paper towels. We actually got some goo off because we're going to try to maybe take the paint off the cabinets and either repaint it or uh, just leave it as wood. I know that the wood under this is really pretty because when we were looking at the house online, I remember searching the address and somewhere on Google Images, there was a picture of what it looked like before it was red and it was just really pretty wood so we're hoping to do one of one of the two of those things so these are paint samples that we got today we're just going to put a little bit up on on the wall so we can kind of see what we like so austin can unscrew them for you and you can see more of what they're like these three are just the greens and those are more gray just wanted something kind of earthy but all right behind them for us. door number one yeah, that almost looks minty. We've got baby it's puke pretty. green. <laughs> That's funny. Door number two. Ooh, even more baby puke green. Hmm. It's just it's really nice hard though. to tell. Just have to put some on the wall and see what they're like. I think All we've right. kind of decided we're not doing that one. Yeah, well, let's just open it for fun. This is like so much more. It's like olivey. It's too olivey. Yeah. Too olive. I'll be honest though, through this camera, I don't know what it'll look like on the screen for you guys, but they all look the same. Kind of like desert tan, somewhat close. All right. Then we got some grays. That's pretty. It is nice. Just nice, pretty gray. Mm, yeah. We just want something neutral, nothing crazy. That way it's easy to match everything. Is this the one that has more purple in it? Maybe. I think that might have or been that it. that might actually. have been it. That almost looks like a green gray through the camera. Yeah, like a tannish, almost. It's nice though. It is. I hate them all! <laughs> just kidding. Hopefully this one one's like them. a real gray. Yeah. Ooh, that's, that's just pretty pretty. much light gray. But just straight that's up nice gray. though. Yeah. I think that's kind of what we were looking for yeah we'll have to get them get them on the wall and, and show you guys yes see what we think so we will see looks like austin is kind of getting some curtains up those are pretty about that they're really nice it's kind of hard to see the print but they do have like a little bit of print on them um and they're also kind of thick which is nice pretty sure i put them on yeah that's the right way yeah, they're really nice. Pretty. They hang down actually further than I thought. This kind of wooden dowel was already here, but you can also tell up here, and you're probably not gonna be able to see, well, you can actually see it a little bit. Um, you can tell where that's had like putty put over it because the actual curtain rod was probably up there. So probably put that back there at some point and then they won't drag as much. No, they're they're pretty. You know, they're they're enough of a print, but they let so much light in, uh, which was the goal. I would... And that's as good as you're gonna get without custom ordering them too. So for that's exact true. length, that is true. They will be just about perfect once we get that uh, uh, curtain rod up there. So. Yeah, I think so. Honestly, we probably need to seal off the crawl space. A little better. That's too. probably where they're coming from. Probably, because look at all of them. Man, you guys probably can't see, but we got some bugs. We got some bug boys trying to live down here. We don't want that. 
Uh, this is a crawl space though, like I said before, so that's probably where they're coming from. Probably. Does anyone know any natural solutions to get rid of bugs? Because I don't super love lots of chemicals and I wonder if there's stuff that you could put out to deter them. I really don't love super amount of bugs either. <laughs> I know. I'm still in love with my 80s washing machines. I just hope they work. I want to keep those. Just love all the storage too. That'll be nice to put all kinds of stuff on. We're trying to make sure the hot water is working. Does it work? Give me a second. I just cut the, the heater on, so it might take a minute. I mean, it's a little dirty. It's really not as bad as I thought it would be. That's the cool thing, though, about these old washers is that you can just pull them apart like this and work on them. You can't do that with the new ones. It smell gunky. It just smells like detergent. So. That's good. Okay. I like what it says. Kelvinator. Kelvinator. That's the brand. Yeah. I looked it up. I saw, like, a little... Uh, it's a little... I guess it's what they showed their salesman. It's It was teaching them... How to sell these things back in the 80s and it's old you can tell somebody copied an old vhs on the youtube that's just real grainy and very vintage but it was funny <laughs> because i was looking these up to see you know anything i could find about them because i've never heard of kelvinator but i came across that and i thought that was pretty funny that is but these are the kind the old ones that you can open the lids probably while they're washing yeah yeah, you can. And that's so funny to me because if I don't know if people have seen the commercial, but I've seen newer ones where they have like a certain thing where you can open them and like do it, put it in while it's washing, and they're like, This is this new revolutionary thing. I'm like, No, it's not. All the old ones were like that. I just think that's funny. Have to figure out how to take this apart so we can get in there, but that shouldn't be too bad. No. Oh. So we're still trying to see if the, the hot water it's heater is warm. working. It's taking a sweet time, but it's getting it. All right, guys, so today we're actually changing a toilet seat. <laughs> Not super exciting, but uh, we got them at Lowe's yesterday, so we're gonna change some toilet seats. It's just at the perfect angle where I can't get the drill on there. So you have to use a screwdriver? I don't have to, I just don't use the drill and mess that up just in case we need it. All right. There we go. Nice. There we go. One down. So we are wiping down the washer and dryer. And then Austin, we're gonna run baking soda and vinegar through it to clean mm, it. Yep. Saw it on the YouTubes. YouTube is a wonderful thing. Speaking of that, if you like us, subscribe. <laughs> like this video and subscribe. I'll Shameless be. plug. Let it fill up, and we will put in some vinegar and the whole thing of baking soda. A whole thing? Mm-hmm. Don't question me. <laughs> I'm not. I just, it's funny. That's a lot. 
it's a good way to clean it too because those are you know more natural ingredients you're not gonna have a lot of chemicals on your yeah. clothes we try to use the free and clear kind of stuff to wash our clothes because um i seem to be sensitive to fragrance and dyes and things I love those things. I gotta get a close up of the dial. It's just funny. So we got the water going, and I don't know, you guys probably can't see the steam right yeah. here, but it's You're supposed steaming. to get it as hot as you can. Okay. Tell me when you think I've hit two cups. Okay. Right there. There ain't no way. So you said that's a quart or two quarts? This quart? is six quarts. Oh. No, this is two quarts. Sorry. How many cups are in a quart? A lot. I have no idea. But surely that that can't be but a cup. Ah, uh, I pour a little more if you want. Right there. That's what I do. All that sick. That's gonna be hard. Anyone want a vinegar and bacon soda bag? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we let it run. Here do you use this Swiffer? I don't know what I want to think. Yeah. Spray some out and then you sweep it. Once it gets wet, I don't think so. Well, you have to spray every now and then just to keep it wet. Right, but it's not like every time. No. How much you want me to put? You just start out with that and see what you think. And then, there you go, just do like a big square of it. Sorry, y'all, I know it's dark in here. Should be more light tomorrow. All right, you think that's good? That'd be good to get an idea. Yeah, should be. Here's what I'll do. I will just leave that directly underneath. Oh, that's smart. You're smart. All right. So we've got some paint samples we're gonna put on the wall. <laughs> See what we think. my best not to get them all over the brand new carpet. Yeah, that would stink. You can already tell I like that. It's pretty. That wonder, yeah, I wonder which gray that was. Hammered zinc. Mm. Might be hard for you guys to tell, but it's a pretty gray. This one is Lowe's number 2505 <laughs> for your reference. I don't really know what color it's called. And it looks about the same. It's also gray, surprise. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. All right. Now to let them dry. Which one do you think? I kind of like the one on the left. Yeah. I kind of do too. That one's a little, might be a little it too dark. It got dark, yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll let them dry and come Good back deal. and see. Hey guys, so it is early this morning. It's about 7 o'clock and we are here to mow. We haven't been here in like four weeks honestly we just were at the beach and we didn't realize we'd be gone that long until the yard is pretty bad it needs to be mowed 
So we're gonna do that. We got our old clothes on. This shirt is full of holes, but um, it's pretty comfortable because it's just really lightweight because it has holes in it. So it's really pretty this morning. Um, it's foggy. You can kind of see see back off the deck there, um, but it's a little cool. Not not really very cool um, and pretty quiet. So we're gonna get the yard going. So you guys can see how much it's grown up. Those were the bushes that I, were, I was clipping and now they're basically kind of grown back to how they are. So yeah, it's really needing to be mowed again. I'll show you guys the back and the other side. We're gonna have to take care of all of this mess. It's pokeweed, but you know, it's just kind of messy. So. We're gonna get some of it going. It is nice and quiet here this morning. Show you guys the other side of the yard. Yeah, it desperately needs to be mowed. So, we'll be glad to get that going. Also, about right there, there's some blueberry bushes, so I'd like to try to get in there and weed those. Eventually get some mulch around them, but for now, probably just get some of it mowed. You're pretty close to full there. Just top it off a little. There you go. There you go. Thank you. hot y'all it's probably only maybe 73 75 or something because we got here early but who I am sweating uh, we're lucky that right now it is completely overcast and foggy so that is much better before the hot Sun gets in here but it is hot folks <laughs> like I got most of it outside the bottle. <laughs> That's okay though. We like to drink the emergency packets. Sorry about the shaky camera guys. 
Um, and then sometimes Propel. I think I prefer the emergency packets over the Propel, but it just helps when you're mowing like this and it's so hot. The water helps, but like you also really need to replace like the salt and the minerals that you're losing too, so. So Austin has wet these bandanas. If you wet these things and then put them around your neck, it's amazing. And then all you have to do after that when nice. they get hot again is just... Take them off and give them a couple flicks. Really makes a difference. <laughs> Gosh, that does feel good, don't it? And since the main arteries run up the back of your neck there, you know, it really helps keep you cool. I think we're making good progress though. The yard looks way better than it did. We're getting getting some of it mowed away. Look at this little guy. I guess he's like a slug of some kind. He moves deceivingly fast for being a slug. You wanna All make right. a move so everybody can see? Yeah, can you spot him guys? Oh, I know they're like good luck, but sometimes they freak me out a little. He's just a little baby. Mm-hmm. He's kind of hard to guy. spot in that grass. So, Austin is using the bush axe to get rid of some of this pokeweed. It's just taken over back here, so... You can see how big it is, like, you know, tall it is compared to him, so. And it works pretty good. Bush axes are handy tools to have. So it sounds like somebody else might be working besides us. I don't know if that's a vacuum or a sander or saw or something like that. But anyways, taking a break and eating a snack. This is nut milk that I think come from Ingles. And it's really good. It's especially good protein when you're working like this and it's hot. Looks like you're doing a good job, though. Thank you. Mom, I see the rake real quick. Of course. So, we brought a rake. It's actually a gravel rake, but it's got these big old strong tines, unlike a usual one. And we also have this little shovel. This thing is awesome. The head on this is really small, uh, and it really get in some tight places. Too much more. Ain't break though. It's very, very humid. Yes. Hey, look. Plenty of nails. Oh gosh. That's not a good place for those, is That's it? Probably when they were putting the deck up. So. I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made thus far. Gonna come in still with a rake and try to rake some of that mess down. But it is looking better all the time. Okay guys, so we actually brought some things over to the house. These are some trash cans for the bathrooms. We got a few towels, some sheets. Um, uh, red, white, and blue comforter my grandma gave me. She also gave us this one. 
And this one we have some wooden spoons, thanks to Katie. Some reusable storage bags for food. Um, <laughs> these are actually a few Christmas ornaments. This though is like my favorite. So this bowl is like really old. It's kind of cracked a little bit. I mean, not enough to where you can't can't uh, use it. And we're just gonna put it on probably the counter and put fruit in it. But I just think it's so pretty because it looks so old. I think these are shams to go with the red, white, and blue <laughs> blanket. Um, this is some stuff Austin and I got at Target. That's for, or TJ Maxx, that's for furniture to, oh, you can see me, hey guys. That's for the furniture. We got some cute uh, cups. And we got some utensils. Oh, these are nice, we got these at Target. They're, um, I'll get them all out for you guys. They're towels that you would put in the bathroom, you know, to dry your hands on. But I love that they have the hook there for you to hang it on. So we just thought that these were pretty colors, or I did. Austin didn't really care. <laughs> but I thought those were pretty colors. This is also another comforter from Granny. It's reversible. You can see the inside is black and white. You can see it there. This is something that mom gave us, which is sweet. I just thought these were cute. There's no telling where I got these and I've saved them all this time, way before I knew Austin, thinking when I have a house one day, these might be really cute. So, salt and pepper shakers. Now, these are rugs that we got for the door from Amazon. So I will take them out and give you guys a closer look. So these are the rugs, they're really nice. I like the brown, I'm definitely a big fan of brown. <laughs> but they match pretty much anything, even the curtain there we've already got up, it matches pretty good. We got this while we were at the beach to put our seashells in. Put on a, on a shelf somewhere or on a little table. Thank you again, Granny, we have some pizza pans. And then I have a stack of these old plates. They're just the sweetest, again, it was Something that I got a long time ago, way before I knew Austin, and I just picked them up somewhere and thought they were pretty and wanted to keep them, so might be good dessert plates. And a sheet pan. Those cinnamon rolls look good right now. I'm hungry. We also got this lamp. I just thought it was pretty. It looks old, so I think it would be pretty uh, maybe in the living room, like on a side table. Also have these. I don't really know if we'll use them or not, but they're just so sweet of the birds. And then this is the other one. They're just pretty sweet. I couldn't say no to them. Her granny gave us these deer paintings and we love them. This is gonna be so homey when we get our stuff in here. This is another deer painting uh, or deer print that come from granny. Actually come from her brother Lucky, but that would be so pretty up there. And then we have this one. I don't think I like it as good as the other two, but it's still really sweet. I like it. What do you think? Yep. Is. It's pretty important. Very true. My friend Mark is helping me. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> You're such a goof. You still down there? Oh, I've fallen and I can't get <laughs> up. Oh, no, no. <laughs> Life alert. You're, oh my no, don't even say that. <laughs> you will fall. Life alert is great, my grandma has that. This is not sponsored by Life Alert though. <laughs> we are not sponsored by Life Alert. We would like you to know we are not affiliated in any way. <laughs> <laughs> 